Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, safe space which would be awesome, where we are having a good time, having a good time. We just interviewed Stampy Cat, and wow, was he nervous. And also lying, constantly. I don't think he said a real thing at all, the entire time. Who's up next? Um, you know what, I think we should talk to Dan. Can you send in Dan, please? Right. Why well, gotta be so dramatic, all right? You know, she's my fucking friend. And his hair is different color again. I don't know what Stampy told you, but I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I've Honest. Never hurt anyone, you've got to believe Honest. me. Honest. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. I'm not lying. I'm sure Honest. Still, everyone's talking about. I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. Uh huh. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. Fair. That's a fair point. I'm not Assuming the white pumpkin. True. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? That bunny is staring at me. <laughs> um... How's your redstone? So, how would you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. Weird. Stampy said that you were pretty into redstone. <laughs> what? No, he's got me confused with someone else. I'm sure of it. Now, Lizzie, though, I've seen her do some amazing things with redstone. Between you and me, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the one behind all of this. Uh-huh. And what about this thing? Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No. Honest. Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions. Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? Uh-huh. I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Right. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously, she was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. Uh-huh. You can go now. Everyone is fucking Thanks, deflecting. Jessie. No Thanks. one has taken the credit for Lizzie, anything. Don't forget to ask her about those crazy magic arrows. I bet she'll know something. God, she's probably going to deflect everything, too. Good. God Thanks. damn it. Why? Look, it's just us yes, ladies listen. here. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't I'm know a woman. Mean, but I'll just admit it. <laughs> I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. Okay. You're not deflected. Good. Finally. You watch it stung to have Dan. Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose. So aggravating. Oh, and so that's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it. I wouldn't waste my time on all these... White pumpkin games. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. I mean, What's fair you enough. What's to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Alright, uh, yeah. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. So I've heard. Yeah, there's that term again. Eh, let's do the tip arrows I'm last. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. Oh, if no, not curious at all. Steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. And finally... Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that. You know, thing. she's being legitimately what? honest here. Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. Those no? are two names. Because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? Yeah? Everyone I ask says that you're the only one with the skills here to make something like this. Okay, sure. Of the people here... Maybe. Doesn't make me the white pumpkin, though. Oh, hey. I'm not sure I like I didn't know that. Otherwise. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. 
I didn't know that was a catch in a lie thing. Oh, come on. This is nuts. You had a button too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hey, Jesse. Ah, uh, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I know. I figured. Thanks, though. <laughs> How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering <sighs> out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. It's been rough. These people have so much drama going on, it's hard to tell what's about the flint and steel and what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you I think Stampy might be involved, <laughs> honestly. Thanks, Lucas. Honestly. Um, but I don't know. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the No, we got we got it. We got to stay in here a little bit longer so they don't suspect anything. So, have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang uh... on, hang on everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but But Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jessie? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not Okay, cool. guys, 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 chill. Yeah, yeah. Um, It's either Stampy or the Cassie and other one. I forget her name. Um, That one. Having talked to all the key witnesses, I think it might be Stampy Cat. No, that's crazy talk. Absolute crazy talk. Of the suspects. He's the one with the redstone chops to make all these traps. No, 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 no. You can't really believe this, can you? I'm thinking we lock him back in that library. Hold him there till morning. Sounds like a good plan. Sorry, Stampy, but we can't take any chances here. Oh, come here. on. I'm Stampy Cat, Mr. Stampy. I'm no white pumpkin. I mean, I feel bad, but he was the one who was lying the Certainly most. Certainly some excitement. Yeah. Like, no you can't kidding. just be a liar in those sort of situations. Around, though. He might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, hmm. we might be able to find more proof about who the white pumpkin is. I mean, maybe. How they're operating. I'm not sure, but the white pumpkin didn't trigger it until Torque Dog was in the exact right spot. That's true. That means it's very he true. must have been watching from somewhere. Creepy. Yes. Yeah, well. It seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm going to stay here keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. But you were also a suspect. They'll suspect you. Like <laughs> back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? In the kitchen. Uh, let's see. Like back in the dining room. Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around. There are too many loose ends flying around. A lot of evidence that doesn't add up. We need to find some definitive concrete evidence. Concrete okay. evidence. I'm on the lookout. Why, why, why are you talking so weird? Just talk normal. Okay, well, that's fucking okay. Immediately. Huh. I wonder where Torque Dog's stuff went when it got sucked away. And Sparkle's stuff, for that matter. Yeah, that's true. I want to see what's over here before I go over there. Uh, nothing. Okay. There is only the wall painting of the creeper. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. These ovens have been busy since we got here. Who needs that much food? <laughs> hey, they could be making stone bricks, okay? It's fine. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? It's not exactly Seems a normal thing. Taking a closer inspection. Yeah, we gotta punch that painting. We gotta punch it. Oh! <laughs> like how she shook her fist, like, ow! <laughs> it's some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? I think it activates a trap, Ivor. Everybody stand back! Okay, everyone. Make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. And there we One go. Those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah. Yep. And how he's getting around the house. Yeah, no, there's uh there's secret passages back here. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway. I think we've come too far to turn around now. I mean we got it. Well, after you then. There ain't no sleep for the wicked. 
or the Wicked Seekers. And Jimmy Jack's Pizza is now playing Starbound. Hey, and I got an achievement. <laughs> All right. Campy's okay locked up in the library. Yeah. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Well, even if it isn't the right person, at least he's safe. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> they don't trust me. She's like, what the hell are you talking about? Those what eyes are pretty low. Are a, that's a weird location for eyes. But look, a lever. Don't push that. Don't push that at all. The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing. I'm guessing that must activate another trap. Maybe one that's visible through that peephole? Yeah, those eyes are pretty low, though. You have to, like, lean in. See anything that this lever might be connected to? <laughs> okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> um oh well then i guess the bunny was in fact staring at me at the time it's the library Aww. that that rabbit was legitimately staring at me Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Hey, I have to speak to you. Uh-oh, Dan. What are you doing here? I snuck in past that okay. little guy. Uh, Lucas, but I have to speak to you. It's really important. Hi, guys. It was me. I killed Sparkles. Um... What? You're the white pumpkin? Oh, what? No, 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 no. I swear, it was an accident. But, but, Dan, accident? Really? I swear, I had no idea there was this button. I'm not good with buttons. I had to push it. And I had no idea what the it would do. Now we feel He's awful. In there. Then let's well, go kick his butt. That's a little hard to believe. I know, I know. It sounds ridiculous. I've been beating myself up about it. Let's ever go. Since it ha what? What on earth? All right. So it's not any either of those two, clearly. Oh, well, that's not a trap so much as a hazard. <laughs> What's going on? The door's locked, Jackie. Spiders, they're everywhere. Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way. Let's kill spiders. Okay, someone's got to kill the spiders and someone's got to go after the... God, you know what? Ah, go, 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 idiot. I was clicking. Oh no, Dan! No! No! What a shame. Enjoying the party. <laughs> well, you're the actual white pumpkin. I found you. E. I hit E. Ah. And I got out of the way. Down. Up. Oh. You're you're going against a person who's really a fighter. Okay, so you gotta chill. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's chase. Jesse, are you okay? Um. <laughs> why did I stop? Why didn't I just keep going? I'd be like, I'll go on without you, and then I run. I run it fast, and run as fast as possible. Try to keep up. I get the impression that this is a quick time event. Ah. All right. Let's go. There's nothing stopping me. Okay, except maybe perhaps lava behind me. Ah, Q, 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 I, I did it though. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Gotta hit down and then Q as fast as possible. Apparently my ring finger ain't that good at hitting buttons real quick. And soul sand. Soul sand. Yeah. The sand that's so slow it will steal your soul. 
Hit it fast. Hit it faster. E. Hit E. You go up. Hit E. Don't die this time. <laughs> well, that was funny. <laughs> Adios. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. All right, so. This guy's. This guy's fit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not. Jesse, I'll cut him off. Let's do this. I figured Dan could take care of himself with the spiders, but apparently not. Okay, stop playing Starbound. I'm busy. Lucas. Oh, Jesse. Um, what? Lucas? Hey. Um, Give me what? a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. I don't fully understand. No, he's not the killer, you idiot. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. You what chased him. Lucas? Clearly I it wasn't him. Chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuck this pumpkin on my head. Well, what's going on in here? No. <gasps> you called the white pumpkin. Grab him, quick. No, that's not what happened. Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah. It's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. No, I haven't no, defended no. him yet. I know what's going on here, and I won't stand for it. One of you is still the White Pumpkin, and you're trying to pin it on Lucas. Yeah, bold words. Especially coming from someone with a knack for locking up innocent people. It was... I thought it was him, it okay? Was facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. Um, you missed you missed a part of dialogue there. And now, Dan is gone too. And I'm sorry about that. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Okay. Are, That's not. No, you can't do that. Now, hang on. I may still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse saved me. It just wouldn't feel right to throw your friend to the googlies. <laughs> Brave stance. Oh man, I'm so glad you said that. We really are just here to help. Fine. <sighs> you're pretty aggressive. You. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. I mean, <laughs> like, okay. up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall! With a lovely door. <laughs> Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. You're acting pretty suspicious yourself. Why can't Stampy that cool with everyone? Guard? Uh You okay with that, Lucas? Well, <laughs> I'd prefer not being locked in a closet. Look, we got it. It's it's, fine, it's about appearances. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. Do it with Stampy. He's clearly innocent. Don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't <laughs> because I like you or anything. Oh, don't fucking pull the no, Sundari thing, you not. piece of Be shit. Quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay. Well, what are we supposed to do now? That's one of the ways you uh, find an innocent person. We clear Lucas's name, and I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir crazy. Yeah, a little. Somehow, the white pumpkin was able to... Sometimes the best way to find an innocent person is to suspect we them to out and then find out they aren't guilty. Sounds like a plan to me. It's guilty until proven innocent at its finest. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to apologize for what I've done. Stampy, you've been proven innocent, but I've still got questions for Lizzie. What? You can't be serious. Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? Trying to mind my own business? Sitting quietly and counting the seconds till I could leave? Terribly stressful sounding hobbies, really. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Also, I apologize, Stampy. Why can't I do why can't I apologize to Stampy? Oh yeah, Stacy, that's her name.
What do you want? What do you You've want? You've been pretty aggro accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Actually, no, that was mostly uh, really the other as one. Suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't lie. That's what sta got Don't Stampy go locked up. <sighs> sure. Whatever. That'll have to be it for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Kiwi. You've been great too. And you have yourself a delightful day. And goodbye.